Yeah, that's that's the question. I think 2021 was wasn't acceptable by by our standards. You know, we we want to be an exciting team. We want to be a winning team, and we want to be perpetually competitive. And that wasn't happening. So you know, I think with us going through this next uh, phase of our our existence here, um, we decided we're gonna we're gonna film things and see where it goes. Um, so here we are. If I was hiring another, you know, sector of my uh, organization and a senior executive, you know, that could be a three, four, five month process with multiple interviews and conversations and fact checking and getting getting comfortable with people. What we were we were dealt with is there's a there's a window when you start talking to folks that are under contract in the CFL and you have 14 days. Um, you know, couple that with the late Grey Cup that we had this year it meant that we had a really compressed period of time to be able to, to come to a good decision and get somebody hired. Yeah, shortly after uh, the Grey Cup game, uh, I was informed by the Hamilton organization that both uh, Ottawa and Edmonton had requested permission to talk to me uh, about the GM openings between each respective club. Uh, so uh, that week, uh, definitely a, a, a quick turnaround from the Grey Cup game in Hamilton to being considered in two different places for uh, jobs. Edmonton was, you know, bad football pun, but they were going into the hurry-up offense with their hiring um, of our, of our uh, three of our four top candidates. We're going to be flying to Edmonton on the the Saturday and the Sunday morning to interview for the do second and third interviews for that job. And you know, our information was that they were going to make a decision on their general manager, likely on the the Sunday. You know, instead of meeting and uh, reviewing things on Saturday, we, we went into our own hurry-up offense. Uh, we, we briefed Roger Greenberg and gave him an opportunity to speak with, with Sean on Saturday morning. Today, Mr. Roger. Greenberg, how you doing, sir? You'll do much better if you don't call me Mr. Greenberg. So uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're used to in your, your, uh, the regimen with the Tiger Cats, but uh, here it's Roger and John and uh, et cetera. So we don't go by... Uh, we don't go by formalities or whatever. You always would say that was my my father and my uncle were called Mr. Greenberg. I'm just I'm just Roger. Followed by a call that we set up with uh, with Sean and Paul Lapolice that happened, uh, and you know they 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 both hit it out of the park. The the comfort level was there, and you know I think there was excitement that he was our he was our guy. There's not just one good candidate out there. There's there's a few, but but Sean Sean for me jumped out ahead. And Paul, our, our reality is he's on an airplane at six o'clock uh, with two other guys, um, and Edmonton's going to put the full court press on. Uh, I think he's probably going to be the first candidate, and they're going to give him an opportunity to be GM and a contract. Um, and if he doesn't take it immediately, they're going to move to the next guy. So I think it's a t I think it's a today thing to to solve for if he's the guy. Like reading the tea leaves, he wants to come here. He told us yesterday that he wants to be a GM and if the opportunity shows up in one place and not the other, meaning Edmonton, he would be compelled to take it. But he was very clear. He goes, this Ottawa is my number one choice. Right. Whatever it takes to make this one work. Um, while I don't expect any announcements today, it could get all done today. Um, and then we'll figure out a, you know, a press conference or how we might do that, you know, tomorrow or Monday. Sean Mercury. I'm good. How are you? Right on. Well, Sean, I got some bad news. I think we're going to try to make half the wardrobe in your closet obsolete and turn it into red and black. 
You okay with that? It is now my great honor and privilege on behalf of the great football fans on both sides of the Ottawa River is to introduce for the first time, the general manager of the Ottawa Red Blacks, Sean Burke. Oh, wow, Joanne. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking, Lapo, but uh, Joanne needs to make a visit to training camp and, uh, and uh, talk to us about the history, but uh, just incredibly honored, humbled. Roll the tape forward six days later, 10 interviews completed, and we hired ourselves our next general manager. Uh, you know, he's somebody I've known in the league for a long time, um, and somebody always made sure if I saw him somewhere uh, in a league meeting setting, I made sure I spent time talking with him. He's, he's that type of guy, uh, whether it's having a, having a beer at a restaurant with him or, you know, just sitting down talking to him. I always talk to him before every game, and there's no agenda there, it's just he was a good guy I, I really enjoyed my time with. Both of us have been in the CFL a while. I love his passion for the league. I uh, love his passion for the community. He, he's, he's a grinder that's definitely uh, been here day in and day out since I've been here, which is appreciated. Uh, he's definitely open to new ideas and new thoughts. Very creative, which I appreciate. You don't want to have all the same people thinking the same ways on things, so uh, to get a different perspective on things uh, that we're thinking through is great, but he's given a trust to me and a respect level to me coming in that is greatly appreciated. I, I'm excited for what's to come. Um, I think my first good indication of that was that last game on the road in Montreal, last game of the season. You know, we fought hard to the end and we fought hard throughout the season. So I think we've got the, the basis for, for, you know, where we need to go in 2022. Yeah, what we want to do is, is take our nation along for the ride. Um, I'm fortunate to, to be in a business that I love and you know, get to see what happens behind the, the scenes, and it's it's fun and it's exciting. I'm not trying to get Westerners, but I'm not trying to bring a fifth. No, they, 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 this helps. Oh, and it's got a whole bunch of more human stories than we get to see sometimes. You know, what we want to do is is bring you that and give you a little bit of a glimpse as to you know how we go through our days and weeks and months and what it's like to be part of the Red Blacks organization.